Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we'll be taking a look at a few different things. First off, we'll be taking a look at this uh, final piece of evidence from yesterday's PC-77 10 pellet hollow point supremacy shootout that I conducted at a maximum power of 10 pumps point blank range. You can see that in my previous video. These are the results explored. Cro-Magnum from left to right, modified beam and hollow point, Crossman Destroyer, Red Fire, Red Fire No Tip, Blue Flame No Tip, Blue Flame, and the last pellet is the Destroyer EX. Up top, we have the Skenco Ultra Shock, as well as the stock beam and hollow point that has not been modified. <clears throat> pretty cool test, pretty cool results, and they were rated and scored according to their depth and expansion, and that was factored into the final breakdown which I will be conducting currently. I don't have video editing software or anything else so I took the time to make you guys some slides to explain the data that I have put together for you guys. You can see the cost breakdown. Pause it if you want to. This is the least expensive as number one which received 10 points and the most expensive number 10 which received one point. One point one five cents per shot for a destroyer EX, twelve point nine cents per shot for a gamo blue flame. And none of these prices include tax or shipping or anything like that. This is just standard MSRP advertised price. Alright. Next slide that I have for you here. This is the uh, one of the first tests, the soap penetration test with the Gamo Big Cat 1200. You can go back and see the video of this test, but these are the results. Again, number one scored 10 points, number 10 scored one point. Pause it if you'd like to, take a look at the data. Third one. expansion of the rounds in clay and it was an average of three rounds with the big cat at point blank range into clay as stated number one received ten points number ten received one points pause it if you'd like to again This is the penetration test into soap with the PC-77 with the maximum power 10 pumps, point blank range. Results from yesterday's soap test with the PC-77. That was the penetration test. And then we have the expansion rating to the same soap with the PC-77, 10 pumps, point blank. Same rating system, best at 10 points, worst at 1 point. This was the final ranking numerically, adding up everything from all the tests. Ultrashock 35, Crossman Destroyer Standard 33, Crossman Destroyer EX 31, Beam and Hollow Point 30, Modified Beam in 29, Gamo Red Fire 27, Gamo Red Fire No Tip 26, Gamo Blue Flame 26. Why did I score the Blue Flame lower than the Red Fire No Tip? Just based on cost. That Blue Flame is so expensive, it's almost not, not, uh, not practical to purchase to practice and hunt with. The uh, Cro-Magnum number 9, 24 points. Blue Flame No Tip, 
It was just something I was messing around with, just a fun little experiment. Epic fail, 14 points, definite loser. Alright, now let's take a look at the true top five. Not numerically how they did in the testing, but the true top five and why. Skenko Ultra Shock, not only was it the numerical performer here, but it was also the obvious performer. That round came through in every obvious test from expansion to cost to penetration to whatever the case may be. It scored above average in most tests. Crossman Destroyer, tried and true, real tough to beat. Um, I'd say that's probably a real close tie between one and two. Destroyer EX, great all-around pellet, cheapest pellet I know of to target shoot with, ultra accurate. Gamma Red Fire No Tip, why did I move that up so many spaces? Because it's so effective. If you have red fires, pull all the tips out of your red fires, do yourself a favor, get a more accurate, more destructive round out of it, and uh, save yourself the headache of randomly uh, flying rounds that just have their own trajectory due to a loose ballistic tip. Fifth, last but not least, Beeman Hollow Point. I had to give it to the Beeman last because it did perform well numerically, but you know what, truth be told, there's something about the diameter of the Beeman that doesn't work well with Crossman guns. All of my Crossman gr guns have uh, problems cycling this round into the breach, so just to be known, that's a very, very difficult round to use in most Crossman guns. Works great in my P-17, but for whatever reason, it's really tight in my Gamo, and almost impossible to load into my crossman so that's why it scored lower and those are my true top five right there zoom in and give you guys a good look okay that was a fail zoom out cool Finally, after the true top five, my personal all-time favorites and why. Thousand feet per second or better, Crossman Premier Hollow Point. Why didn't I test it if I like it so much? Because I'm actually new to the serious world of air gunning and I have um, been testing out a lot of different things. I kind of just overlooked it because it was so common and only recently figured it out. It performs so well on initial testing that I could not enter it into a competition that I'd already had 10 performers competing in. If I had something that was definitely going to perform incredibly well in the middle of the testing, uh, get at it, it would skew the results. So I decided to just keep that as my personal favorite and just know that that's what I like to shoot for sure based on hunting experience and target practice and price and all of the above and uh, just keep it out of the test. 700 feet per second or less, Ultra Shock absolutely ties the standard destroyer. Those are both equally effective round. Why not the Premier Hollow Point for 700 feet per second or less? It doesn't flatten out. The lead's really uh, a harder lead, which works great for the higher feet per second guns. That thing pancakes really, really well. Great accuracy, great penetration, great everything. But, uh, but below 700, 750 feet per second, it doesn't really flatten out that well. So I'd say the Ultra Shocks ties a uh, standard destroyer for my favorite pellets for 700 feet per second or less. Again, 1,000 feet per second or better, Crossman from my hollow point pretty much, in my opinion, owns all as far as hollow points go. And that was my final slide. Take a look as a final little look here. Top five. We have the uh, Beeman Hollow Point, Red Fire No Tip, that expansion just nice, Destroyer EX, Crossman Destroyer, and the Skenko Ultra Shock sitting in the number one position. Right here I have the Crossman pointed pellet which is the best penetrating lead pellet that I have currently and I just have it there for comparison to see oop, to see uh, 
how these other hollow point rounds compare to a pointed pellet. In any event, guys, that has been my hollow point supremacy shootout between the 10 pellets tested. And these are our five winners from left to right. Number one, Ultra Shock. Number two, Standard Destroyer. Number three, Destroyer EX. Number four, Red Fire with no tip. Number five, the uh, Stock Beam and Hollow Point. About the number four pellet, please someone manufacture this for me so that I can stop pulling the ballistic tips out. This is a great performing round and way more accurate than its stock form because the ballistic tip is so loose in there from the factory. Please someone make this for me cheaply. Alright, other than that I'd say uh, we were able to do some good testing. We were able to get some definitive results and see what we uh, were able to come up with. All right, guys. Well, you have the data. Guess uh, make your own choices and uh, apply the results how you will. Rate and subscribe. Thanks, you guys.